Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Grizzle and yeah, I'm going to do MMEG videos in English from now on because yeah, the channel is more or less dead because I did the uh, videos in German before. Um, today I wanted to introduce you to the Optimizer 3000. Um, I was seeing that not that many people are using the Optimizer and I often read in the chat like people asking about how to glyph this, how to glyph that and where can I see the stats of the monsters, where can I see all the monsters and the skills and stuff. And so I thought about doing this video, so probably more people will know about Optimizer because it's a really great tool and actually it's like all in one, let's say. So it's one set and you have everything that you need. You can theory craft there and stuff. So it's actually pretty nice and very, very helpful. And so I will introduce you to that and will show you a few things that you can do with it. And uh, also like the auto cliff searcher, let's say. So if you have some <laughs> some things in your mind, like some stats for a monster, then you can just write them down there and he will search the uh, right glyphs for you. So that's what, what I wanted to show you. And after this I will do a little opening, but really just a little one, like uh, two legendary stones and I guess around 20 epic stones. So yeah, if you're not interested in the Optimizer and you're still using it at the moment, then of course you will take a look at the opening later on but yeah let's see I'm just going to finish this run really quick you see I'm running here with a uh, air vamp uh, he's fully on HP and 100% crit and I'm doing solo runs with him uh, just to farm my food and get some new five stars or it's even good if you want to do like um, for the evolutions if, if you want to go for one two three star evolutions then you can just farm up your stuff here um, as far as i know it's also possible with the with the trend with the water trend but i still don't have a water trend <laughs> after one year so yeah i have to use him but it's going pretty good actually it's like running around between two and three minutes most of the time so that's actually pretty nice. So okay, we are done here. And I'm just going to sell this real quick and then we go home. And now I will just show you the optimizer. So I have to show you this. And here you can see this is the page of the optimizer. It's yeah pretty easy to to get this going. You just have to um, import your data and you have to ask for the security code and you can see this in game actually on the options side. Then you have to type this in and um, then it's working. And the first cool thing about um, the optimizer is that you can see all your resources. So if you scroll down here you just see everything that you have you see how many books you have you see how many crystals i mean that's not that hard to find out actually but um, you see all the rest of the resources so you you see how many materials you have and stuff that's pretty nice actually and then if you scroll further down you have some more information like in in which league you are playing how many stones you opened until you get the last four star <laughs> so it's actually pretty nice and you see how many glyphs you have how many dark glyphs you have how many native four stars you have and stuff so that's actually pretty cool you can also see when you obtain the, all the four stars so here is the list and then you can see like how many summons it took to get you the next four star so then, then you have the whole list and you can actually also in the optimizer see um, how or, or which, let's, let's say which monster you obtained at which date. So you can also, if you are playing like for one year or something, you can see what was the first 
of your native four stars and yeah then you have um, achievements like this so it's pretty funny actually you see on the achievements you can validate your achievements and you can look at your achievements and then here you have a little ranking system but yeah that's that's only on the side and the important part about this one is you have all your monsters here you have the monster box and you have also your cliff box or runes box and that's pretty nice because you can like just go on each of your monsters and if you let's say want to cliff a certain monster then you just can go here like with with the mystic then you click on o4k this is automatic cliff set generation tool and the good thing about this is that you can just go here and tap this, uh, the, the glyphs that you want actually and then you can uh, tap in the stats also the effective HP so this is way easier than to search for your glyphs so the one thing that you want to do is let's say you want to have speed you want to have HP and you want to have defense of course and then you also can um, set here the priorities of the um, substats so you can go ahead and probably put in like defense, HP and of course speed and then what you want to do next is you can uh, set here the stats to min and max so you can just go ahead and type of course let's say 15,000 and it should not have over 20,000 probably and then you can go ahead and type in 1000 defense and so on like how you want to do it and then you just go down here and then you have this C number of combinations with this filter and then you have a lot of combinations actually depends on how many glyphs you have and how good these glyphs are and then uh, you can calculate the corresponding sets and then you see okay he finds over a thousand sets but um, then you can like go over here and yeah make some changes that you don't find that much but then you can like sort this for more life or if you want more effective HP then you can set it like this and you can also like um, you can also like uh, choose more glyphs and you will search the best of them actually so if you search like these glyphs you see that the sets will stay the same because he's like looking for the best you see the effective HP now fell down a little bit but there is no problem if you just go ahead and like delete this stuff and then you go like for effective HP if you want to have like let's say 160,000 then you will also get um, okay this is that didn't work out that well but sometimes um, I have to say you have to click around a little bit because if you just set one thing in there I guess it's hard for the system to find exactly what you want that's that's the reason if you click on more stuff let's say if you go here for defense HP and stuff and if you say okay you don't want to have like more than 130 speed probably um, then you will find it so you have to give the the system more to work with actually so then you can see um, you go now for effective HP now you have 170,000 effective HP and so on you can even go higher if you want to so that's pretty nice and and very very great tool actually to to see all your monsters to see all the stats um, it also has a nice feature because on every monster you can see on a max level you see here runes recommended at level 35 and that's super nice because you know um, whether you have to use percentage glyphs or flat glyphs so that's super nice so you don't have to calculate anything and then you can go ahead and you can go here to the auras then um, it will show you everything actually if you just go to menagerie and um, to reset because I was just like looking for some stuff then you can like uh, choose exactly what you want or what you need like an attacker or defense or 
whatever. So you can just go ahead and let's say go for the 84 stars actually. Then you can uh, do show spells and you can do show only evolved monsters. So you don't have them doubled in here. And then you can see just actually all the auras, all the, all the skills. And if you want to go further, then you can like just go on see the monster. And then you see everything exactly. So you see the multiplier on the skills like, like it is here with 1.7 times attack and stuff. And you can read everything. And then on the bottom left, uh, you see rank level. And then you see like on uh, rank 5 and level 35, so maximum level, you see um, HP, attack, defense. So you know instantly what you are looking for if you cleave this monster. Also, um, if you are like searching for the substats and stuff, because if you like go for substats, you should also go substats flat HP because you will get more out of it if, if you go flat than percentage so you also have to take a look at this and this is a pretty pretty great set I have to say it's it's pretty nice and it helped me actually a lot to um, yeah cliff all my monsters because on a free cliff removal day it's yeah pretty hard if you have a lot of monsters and you have a, to ruin a lot of things then it's very hard to do that in that short amount of time so that's really the side you want to go for if you are interested in MM image. Uh, 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 sorry for that, man. <laughs> if you wanted to go um, for getting better in arena and stuff, or if you're searching for, like, let's say, a tower team or whatever, then this is the side you want to go for. And yeah, theory craft is always a good thing. And the best part about it is you can also take a look at other people's monsters which they share on this side. So if you uh, go ahead and you go on your monsters and then you go to... It, I, I guess it doesn't matter even if you go to your monsters or if you go to Menagerie, I don't know. Um, but if you go and click here on see monsters and then you just scroll down and there you have the monsters of other people that share these monsters and share their glyphs. So that's also a pretty pretty nice feature here. So you can see how other people build their yeah, fire dragons in, in this case. And then you can also sort them, like you want to see the one with the most attack. Then you just click here and it will show you the one with the highest attack and stuff. Or with the highest speed and so on. So it's a super super nice tool. Yeah, that's all about it for the moment. If you have some questions or anything, just let me know in the commentary section. And now we will go ahead and do the little opening that I announced before. So I just have to shut down this Chrome here and then we are ready to go. I would say it's like, um, yeah, it's 20 actually with the elemental stones. So we will go for the elemental stones first. First things first. <laughs> Let's see what we can get. You saw I was nearly at 150 uh, when I obtained my last four star. So there was like 150 epic stones and also legendary with, with no four star. So probably we can get one this time. Okay, first lightning. Ah, snake fly, okay. But actually, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't really, let's say, need anything. I want, uh, I wanted to have like a water daimyo, so that that would be pretty nice. But yeah, it's not that I would say I need him. So it's like, yeah, if if I get him, it's super, <laughs> it's super nice. But if I don't, I can live with it. So let's see, water stones. But I always get excited when I like can open some stones. Okay, not lucky. So the next, the four fire stones. 
fire dragon would also be super nice actually because I don't have that much fire monsters overall so yeah on my list I would say it's like fire dragon and water daimyo that I would really appreciate but yeah <laughs> they are not that easy to get I guess there are a lot of people out there <laughs> wishing for these two monsters to get them but yeah let's see what we can get I will just click this pretty quick if I don't see a lightning. There is one. Okay. Oh, it's a belly dancer. The Tauret. This is the guy I nearly get every time I open a few stones. <laughs> the Tauret is always in there, always waiting for me. Okay, <laughs> doesn't look that good, but I'm actually, oh, there's the first copy, actually, this is the first one that I got this week for the event, so we get another five stones, that's pretty nice. Okay, no more lightning, so yeah, we'll just grab the uh, stones pretty quick and then we can go on. So, five more stones to go. Let's see if these five stones give us something. <coughs> Would be really nice, actually. I still have a big hope in the legendary stones because I didn't get anything like in the last 10 or something legendary stones or even more. So I hope that it probably will give me a 4 star this time. But who knows? Okay, lightning. Ah, crusader. Okay, never, never have enough Crusaders, so it's not that bad if you get a Crusader out there. Just in case you wanted to up the Air Crusader to Evolution 5. Okay, let's see what the Legendary Stones do. Oh, the next Crusader, okay. Two Crusaders in two stones. And, oh, let's see. Mm, a Monk, okay. Was not that good actually, but yeah, probably in the next opening I can get something. Let's see. And yeah, I hope you liked the video. If you do like the video, leave a like, leave a comment of course. And yeah, if you have some questions, also leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And yeah, I will put out more videos because I'm doing now MMG only in English anymore because um, yeah, the German community is not that big anymore and yeah, the interest in, in videos is like going down and down and down. So yeah, I will just do English videos because there's no one else doing anything and yeah, I hope to get this channel going and fire it up again with the new videos and I will also put out um, some, some videos about the daily dungeon and, and events and stuff. So, but this was only the first one to introduce you to the optimizer because uh, optimizer is a great tool. And as I was saying at the start, it's yeah, it, it feels like that not that many people are using the optimizer. So, yeah, probably a great tool to get you even better or get you further in the game. So that's pretty nice. Okay, then I wish you a nice day and hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye, guys.